Fish and Misfits. I am going to try something I've never done before. So if I can screw this up, you can too. All right, so what I've got here, let me switch the camera around so that I can see what I'm doing. Okay, what I've got here is uh, 40 horsepower Mercury two-stroke. I'm gonna be switching out the impeller, all right? So what normally happens is water will go into these inlets on both sides of the motor here, the lower unit, and then it comes out the top right here. It should be a steady stream. Usually at higher RPMs, it's actually faster, at least as far as I could, I, I've noticed. And so what I've done so far is I've tilted the motor all the way up. Let me back out a little bit. I've tilted the motor all the way up so I can work on it. The shift linkage is the first thing you have to do. And on this boat, if you come down here, right about in here, there's the shift linkage. Now for me, the bottom nut that I'm pointing at right there is like the jam nut or whatever they call it. This is the one that you have to loosen from this. And I, this is bottomed out. So I don't even have to really, I figured that out by putting the gear forward, which drove it this way, all right? And then I figured out that this is already bottomed out. So all I did so far now is I loosened this. So I'm gonna continue to loosen that and that will remove the linkage so that I can remove this lower unit, all right? So what I'm gonna do first is, is do that and I'll right. get back. So now you can see I've removed this nut by just backing it out all the way, all right? The next thing that I used on that was an adjustable wrench on one side. Basically, the jam nut was already stuck, so I didn't need to worry about it. And then I used, um, this is a, a 10 millimeter, I believe I used, to loosen that upper part of that nut to get the linkage off. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is remove these. There's two on this side and two on that side. And to remove them, I have a 5 8 And this one I got, it's pretty long and it's nice leverage. Well, I already loosened all of them, okay? Just to make sure that it moved. And um, I'm gonna continue to take all four of these off. And another thing I did so far was this fin that's on here, all right? I marked this with a marker because this has to be in position so that the motor runs true. So I marked it on this side and I marked it on this side so that I, when I remove this, I know exactly where it goes. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, uh, okay. So I took all four out, laid them out over here where my tool is. Now the next thing to do, there's one more bolt in here, but I have to remove this first. Okay, so I already have that loose. I'm going to take that out. This piece here also comes out with it, so you can't misplace any of this stuff. As soon as I get this off, I'll show you the next nut. Okay, so I removed that. I removed this piece with a half inch wrench. None of this stuff so far has been so tight I even needed a socket or anything. It just, it's so far, it's been like tight but not nutty, which means somebody else probably screwed this up. So, anyhow, the next one is right in this location and I'm let me see if I get the camera in there right in that location right there is a nut I haven't checked to see what that is I'll need a socket for that one so I'll have to look for that one and I'll get back all right I had to use a uh, this happened to be a 15 millimeter deep socket to get it to get at it um, and it has an actual nylon locking nut with a washer so it got it was a little tight in the beginning i'm thinking to myself oh brother right after i get done saying there's nothing's tight i thought maybe it was threaded wrong that's how screwed up i thought it was so anyway that wasn't that's off now in theory this is supposed to slide out okay this is what all the other video shows okay so I'm going to pull this out. I think I have the room to do, to do it, I believe. So I will find out. Hopefully I don't have to move the boat forward. That would really suck. Okay. I'll get back. Okay. So that did come out. No problem. Okay. Um, I got to find out first. I think, I thought it was 10 millimeter. 
someone's yeah it's supposedly 10 millimeter the next thing I have to do is there's four four um, nuts or bolts holding this on so that's the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically hold this thing here this is gonna be my workbench the back of the truck uh, I don't know if I could find something to put this on and make it any easier. If I can, I will. All right, I, get the, uh, I found an old box. I stuck the lower unit in it so that I could at least then uh, work on this and kind of like see it. Now, got this impeller. It's very um, it is a Quicksilver Marine Parts 47 dash eight nine nine eight three t impeller this is like uh oem i believe okay um there's probably if you match these numbers supposedly it's gonna work um i got it off of amazon i think it was like 18 bucks okay and uh first thing i'm gonna do is i'm going to remove these bolts and I'll get back to you as soon as that's done. All right, so took out the four screws. This is the cover that it came and uh, that the impeller was in. And that's where you're gonna put the new one. Um, as you can see, this is the impeller and they're all bent this way. So when I put this in, I gotta turn it clockwise to get these things. So I'll put it in you see, no, I will turn it. I have to make sure that they're put in on, with that turn. So if it goes in this way, I'll turn it, yeah, clockwise. And then it should be in that way clockwise, I believe. I'll, I'll experiment with it, make sure that I, I don't screw it up. But now I'm going to take this off. Hopefully it's the same. Well, you know what? It's the wrong size. This is not the right size. Look at the difference. Holy cow, it's not even close. Well, I guess this, I'll put it back together again, all right? Um, I don't know what size this is then. I don't know what, it, what I'm ordering. Uh, this is nowhere near the same thing. So obviously, ordered the wrong one. Don't get this one. I don't know what this is. But it does look in good shape, I will say. It's not all ratted up. It's not cracked. As you can see, it looks in really good shape. So I don't think I have to worry about this year putting it in. I am a little concerned. See, this one here ain't even, it isn't even bent. I don't know why that is. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it's not all twisted up or screwed up. I don't know. I never bought the the uh, gasket kit, so maybe when I do this, I'll just order. Maybe I'll order the um, the kit from a marine dealer and just buy it. And if it's 50, 60 bucks, whatever it is, I'm probably better off just getting the whole kit. Um, I don't even see there's supposedly supposedly washers, a washer on here. I don't see that either. So I don't know what the heck. It's not exactly like the, the uh, video, but I'm just going to go ahead and button this thing back up, put it all together again. Uh, I'll just assume that I visually inspected it and it looks okay. Uh, learned a lesson that this is the wrong part. I'll have to figure out what is the right part and um, order it or get it. And see, uh, my buddy Pete, I took his boat down to a marine dealer to get his motor wor working. So when I'm down there, maybe I'll just, uh, maybe I'll call ahead and order it and get the right one, the whole kit maybe. I don't know if I can send this back or not. I guess I can. It's not open. But uh, lesson learned. I, was, I got the wrong one. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back together again, basically in the same order that I took it apart. And uh, hopefully uh, I won't screw that up. All right. All right, I uh, put the top back, I put it back on. Um, that was a little trickier than I thought, uh, lining it up, but I believe I did it correctly. 
If not, we're going to have a little bit of a problem when I fire it up. Um, but I think I have it on right. I got that key. I, I never got to tell you about the key part. There's a little metal thing in here that lines up with the shaft of the of the of the shaft here, this shaft, and also the uh, the sprocket thing that the impeller itself. So, um, but I believe I got that on, and I tightened it all up real nice. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put it back on the boat, and all right, guys. get back. I put that unit back on the best way I could, and I got to the point where. I'm at putting this in the inside down here. Now, I don't know if you can see this right here. It's like a rubber tubing. There it is. Now, you know what? That confused the hell out of me. All right? And I'm not even sure if I have it right. But when I came here and looked in here, I didn't understand it. Well, here's where this tube goes. It goes on here like this. Okay, according to one video, this comes in the kit, this, this tubing, all right? And then this must go, and I'm not convinced, but I believe it goes like this, but it doesn't, it doesn't go any further than that. So I don't quite understand that. There's like a, a, a piece of metal right there above this tube that that, flange stops it from going up so if it go if I go this way if I go this way I can push it all the way up in there but that's not what the video shows the video shows it being in this way so I don't know I'm gonna try to put it in that way and we're gonna see what happens right, I'll get back to you Got it back together. All right, so the big problem was, you know, when you do something for the first time, you kind of don't understand it until you actually do it. And then it's like, oh yeah, now I get it, okay? Well, on the back of that housing, that tube had to be in the proper place. And the video showed it, but I, in my mind, I couldn't, I couldn't fathom it. And I, I, I know that doesn't make sense, but what I was looking at and what I had to do were like two different things. So I just accepted it and then I, 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 I proceeded, okay? The big problem, and I still haven't put it together yet, was the linkage. I put it together and I could not see the linkage. It wasn't sticking up, so I'm going to have to push this back so that I can get that on. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet, but... I, <laughs> It is what it is, or I might have to take the whole damn thing off again. But I could not, when I put it in, this wasn't sticking out. It was like I needed to go in forward gear, but it was like in reverse or something. I guess by, by playing around with it or whatever, I don't know. So I'm gonna put some pressure on and hopefully knock it back, because I think that's all it requires. If not, I will be taking this back off. I just don't know how it goes back together. So, um, that's basically, I put it back together the same way I took it off. I lined this thing up with my marks. You know, I had the marks there. And uh, I, I lined everything up, cinched it all down. So I believe that's correct. I just got to do that linkage. And uh, I'll get back to you. Okay, so I did connect the linkage. Actually, it looks a little different than when I started. This jam nut is now basically where it belongs, in neutral. Unless somehow I didn't have it in, <laughs> I don't know. You know, the word mechanic in a dictionary doesn't have my picture by it. So it is what it is. So now what I'm gonna do is, is basically prepare the motor to be run. Probably won't do that till tomorrow. I'm gonna drop this motor. Make sure I have enough oil in the reserve. So um, what I'll do is I'll get a garbage can. I'll tilt this motor all the way up, put the garbage can in there. Then I'll drop it probably as close as I can to something like this. And then I'll fill up that garbage can with water. Then when I fire up the motor, I should have water coming out this little 
uh, hole right here. And then uh, if I do, I'm going to assume that it's okay. And then I'm going to order the correct um, impeller, probably the whole kit, and uh, be done with it. And then I know I can change it because overall, I believe most people could do this with a little bit of mechanical ability. Not much, but the, like I said, the hardest part was putting it back on. Taking it off was actually pretty easy. Um, doing the impeller didn't seem super hard either. If you follow like the videos that are on YouTube, it's not a hard thing. So, well, we'll see what happens when I fire it up, hopefully tomorrow. And this, uh, I will continue with this video tomorrow and then I'll upload everything. <coughs> All right, later in the day, I decided to try it today because it got sunny and it wasn't raining. I got a tote, filled it almost all the way up. The motor is in there, submersed. Now I'm gonna come out. If it's running and the water's coming out like it's supposed to, I'll have to replace the water, so I'll have to keep it running. But we're gonna fire it up and see what happens. Well, we got a problem, it fired right up. Nothing's coming out of the pee hole here. Nothing's coming out. It sputtered a little bit. I don't know if I have it hooked up correctly. Uh, I don't know if it's blocked. Now I'm, now I'm a little concerned that I screw this up. I don't know. It fired right up. I mean, boom, it fired right up. No problem. But why isn't there water coming out? be coming out fired it I turned it off fired it up again should be working I don't know what's going on now I now I'm probably gonna have to get the kit and redo it that I ordered and uh, see if I can get it to do it I do not know why it's not doing it I'm gonna get something to try to push in there and see if I could, uh, you know, maybe it's blocked or something. I don't know. You guys